Vet Time of the Week, where we take a look at the top stories that are making headlines. I'm talking about the high profilers who haven't lived up to expectation. I'm talking about the sports stars who have said this and done that. And I am talking about the believers and Gomezers of the world. So what news buzz has made your BuzzFeed Bolton? Baby Talk was the news buzz of the week. Royal baby that is. Not only was the world anticipating the birth of the royal baby, but also its name. Everyone was waiting outside London's St Mary's Hospital when the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge came out with a happy, healthy boy that, mind you, already has more money and a better name than the Kimye baby, Prince George Alexandre Louis. Ironically, on the announcement of the royal baby, I was rolling in my room. That's when you read a JK Rowling book, for those who don't read, and remembered, technically, Prince William is 100% royal, and Kate is zero. So you see where I'm going with this. We have our very own Half-Blood Prince. What gets me is the insane interest of the world over this baby. I mean, I understand he's third in line, but come on. The saying goes, it takes a village to raise a child, but clearly for the royal baby, it takes the entire world. It's very emotional and it's such a special time. I think any, any parents I think will probably sort of um, know what this feeling feels like. So it's very special. Enjoying being an uncle. Of course I am. <laughs> and have you been able to hold him? Well, of course I have. <laughs> now, you're thinking, what does this mean for us, little old New Zealand? Well, the seemingly never ending competition between the Aussies and the superior Kiwis has come to another match off. The premise two women, over 400 hours, and one shawl to make the cut, designed of the finest qualities to be given to royalty. Sometimes I think Ferrero Rocher is a decent enough gift, but apparently a Spider-Man web blanket reigns superior to potentially trap the royal baby in our web of lies. I meant lace. Hand-knitted lace, that is. The Aussies, however, opted for their finest merino wool, which unfortunately for us meant they came out on top. This goes to show we clearly do not have enough sheep to spare in the country. With that, I think it's quite fitting to give some advice to our future king. Prince George Alexandra Louis, with great power comes great responsibility. You really know how to kill a beautiful mama, don't you? Congratulations! Wise words from Uncle Ben. Now, I'm not resentful or anything, but I'm just saying, at my birth, there were only two people, and one had to be there. So Prince George, enjoy the limelight. Others weren't so lucky. Now, our top sports buzz of the week could have been America's Cup, but guess what? I bypassed it again. So with that, I got some inspiration from Comic-Con. Ever wanted the fans without the sports? Ever wanted the sportsman status without leaving your couch? Are you guys ready for some League of Legends action? Never been the sporty type? Don't worry, Riot Games have you covered. Earlier this week, the official makers of League of Legends, or LOL, as I like to call it for difficulty level, announced they successfully bullied, I mean lobbied the US Citizen and Immigration Services to begin issuing professional players with P1 visas, which are intended for individual athletes. This means that eSporting has been taken to the next level, and players are not only being recognised as professional athletes, but are also being allowed in the US on a temporary basis to compete with other players across the world. I think I've finally found my loophole to getting my green card. So, if you think Michael Phelps training for up to 12 hours a day since he was a teen was hard, nothing will compare to my 30 hour gaming streak on Halo, because you know, sleep is for the week. Sure, I only got a kill streak of two, but it was worth it. Go Jackie, Jackie, Jackie! Regardless for the rest of you who love your gaming as much as I do, or are just single and have some downtime to spare, may be able to put those hard hours of control holding to good use. Olympics 2080, I'm bound for you, baby. Crazy, right? I know. All those hours at the gym? Wasted and my personal trainer he assured me that I was bound for greatness in sports if I stayed fit Guess he was wrong now you're thinking I'm gonna get all this sponsorship I'm gonna get all this money all those hours playing Game Boy not wasted not at all What are you gonna do with it? Here's some inspiration uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
Now, here I was thinking Kanye West's obnoxious ego didn't have a price. Turns out I was wrong. Kanye West has teamed up with French design company APC to bring you a few pieces of clothing attached to his name, including sweatshirts, pants, and t-shirts. The real show stealer though was Kanye West's acclaimed hip hop tee, selling at a hefty $120. Now you're thinking, well it must be laced with gold or encrusted in diamonds for such a high price tag, but no. It's a much more humble plain white tee made out of 100% cotton, and not just any cotton, Egyptian cotton, which means now two things are revolting. Yes, a blank, plain white tee containing nothing more than Kim's tears and Kanye's ego. What makes it hip hop you ask? Nothing, except for the fact it says hip hop tee on the tag. Oh, and possibly because it's a tad longer than the normal tee. Now, if we're going by the theory that naming something makes it instantly that thing, I will name my future born Neo from Matrix. I will also rename myself to Morpheus, and we will read the revolutionaries in Zion ourselves. I think I've made my point. Now, if your pockets are like mine, hungry and empty, don't worry. Our good friends at the warehouse have been putting in long hours and have been swift enough to react to today's tough economy to provide you with a more affordable plain white tee at an affordable $6. The only difference being is you have to lie. But don't worry, that's the exact thing you'll need to do to attain celebrity status anyway. The most bothersome part of the story is not only was this being offered at $120, but it's sold out. What is wrong with people? Seriously, are we really that stupid? The demand was high enough to actually crash the server. My faith in humanity is currently on hiatus. $120, I know, rip off. But you can get mine for $90. That's right, I've cut out the middleman to bring the savings to you. Any last words? I do have some last words. It doesn't matter how royal you are, $120 is still a ripoff. So Kanye West, I deem you unworthy. Now I'm going to leave you with shots of Wolverine. Just came out in theatres and I went to the advanced screening. It was alright. Um, and I am going to go catch up on some modern warfare training. Olympics, I'm coming. I've been trying to find you for over a year. It's an honor to meet the Wolverine. That's not who I am anymore. A gift to equal the life you gave me. You have struggled long enough. I can end your eternity. Make you mortal.